Hi lovelies, welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today, we are gonna stuff my honey's paycheck. If you're new here, my name is Rosa. My channel is all about my personal budgeting journey. It's about cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings challenges, my child stuffing some money for my child in his binder. It is also about our debt and a little bit about investing. If any of that is of interest to you, you have not already, please push subscribe down below. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and spending a little more of your time with me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And everyone, please take a smash and take a second and smash that thumbs up button. I can't talk today. All right, so my honey's paycheck takes care of our cash envelopes. We are on a zero-based budget. We tell every dollar where to go. I do all of that in a binder that I have used, well, a spiral notebook or a binder, and I have used that for decades. Let's be real here, guys. And I also have a spreadsheet that helps me add everything up quickly so I know where we are at in our budget. Recently, Honey got a raise, yay, which is extra exciting because we've started to deduct and have taken out of his paycheck some insurance stuff. So it's really nice to be back to where we were pre-insurance. So excited, which means we have a little bit of extra money today, which means they're going to see some love. As a zero-based budget, knowing what needs to go into all of our envelopes, our cash envelopes, sometimes doesn't leave a lot for all of the other things. And because of that, they don't get the love that they should sometimes. So it's really nice to know that we have some extra after we take care of these envelopes. All right, so the first one is fast food. We actually saw it last time and we get to see it this time, yay! Fast food actually has a little bit of cash all left in it. We went out as a family and had some, um, and used a huge chunk going over to see my, going over to see our daughter. So we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars left. Let's see if we can add this up. I am doing a save a thousand, a hundred dollars at a time to save a thousand dollars. And really, we're not saving that thousand dollars. This goes into our debt pay down. Once this is filled in, we put an extra hundred dollars towards our debt pay down. All right, so I said what 18, 10, 17, 18. All right, I won't take too long doing this, just enough to identify which ones we're doing. I will color them in. So a couple things about me if you are new here. I am frugal, cheap, resourceful, whatever you would like to call it, 10, 17, 18, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, okay. And I reuse things. So this was originally a scratch and save. As a scratch and save, I saved my 100 and now I'm reusing it. And I'm reusing it by taking my permanent marker and shading all of them in and it will allow me to use the card a second time. I actually, <clears throat> excuse me, am so cheap that I will use that card a third time and scratch off the, um, the permanent marker. Now you're like, Rosa, why don't you just wipe it clean? Because I made this, it's not laminated. The, the scratch things left um, little plastic sleeves that I can scratch off. And that's the only reason I get to use it a third time. And by that time, it's just trash. So out of one card, I get three uses. So we are adding 18 to what is already here, which will bring us up to 70. I think that's a one. It is, so $79. Score, score. All right, let's do some adding. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Sweet, $21 away from being done with another 100. Ooh. All right, set that to the side. So now that our fast food is empty, Let's fill it up for the next two weeks. One, two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, eleven. We should have six of those because we should have twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So, Dave Ramsey, yes, we are following the Dave Ramsey plan where we are putting huge chunks down on our debt. And he says you should not see the inside of a restaurant. Well, I'm going to be real. We've made it to a point in our life we're not willing to give it up. So, because of that, we set money aside for it. Dave Ramsey would say, shame on you, but that's reality. So we save money for it. So 120 goes into here. Gas, what is left in gas? There's 31. So I'm gonna be real. I am leaving for town shortly. I know that I oh, think I only have half a tank in the car. We're gonna leave 20 in here. We're gonna put this other 11, 
when we get to it, we'll move it. But we're gonna put this other 11 and something else in a little bit. So it's just gonna kind of sit over there. But we're gonna leave 20 in because I know I have to go get gas today before I leave. And then we're gonna add another 100 to it. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. And this is for the next two weeks worth of gas. I work from home, so gas doesn't always get used. Um, when it does though, I, it's nice to know that it's here. Um, and then we do something extra with the leftovers. Groceries, um, groceries is like looking weak here, people. It's got two bucks in it. We went and did a huge grocery haul. I think we came home with um, $600 worth of groceries which was a little bit more than what was in the envelope. Had to pull some from another account, another place to cover it, but it's covered. And now we're starting again. So groceries got its 300. We can mark some things off. Our youngest gets an allowance. He doesn't do much, he doesn't get much. 10 bucks goes into his envelope. Paper goods. I keep paper products and if you're new here, you haven't heard this. If you are, if you've been around, sorry, you're gonna hear it again. I keep paper products and toiletries separate from my groceries. Um, years ago, my honey would ask me. I'd go to the grocery store, and he'd go, "Hey, Rosa, how much do you spend in groceries?" And I'd tell him, and he'd come back and go, "No, Rosa, I said, how much did you spend in groceries?" Because um, it was, you know, groceries plus paper towels plus laundry detergent plus whatever else we needed, and just over time. It, it, it ate into the grocery budget. And when I go grocery shopping, I want it to be all in groceries. That $600 was all in groceries, nothing else. I do, most of the time, guys, I do special runs for my paper products and my toiletries so that I can keep those separate. Pet is gonna get another $10. Unfortunately, this is spent. Honey went to the grocery the other day and picked up some bird food. So I know that is spent, that'll come out soon. Our cash, I get myself another 20. I've been doing pretty good on the Dunkin' Runs, two, four, six, 80, 81, 82. I know that like $5 needs to come out for my last Dunkin' Run, but I've been doing pretty good. Um, don't know what exactly it is I'm gonna spend my monies on, but we will think about it. And last up is toiletries, which will get $15. I am a huge couponer, so sometimes to have money in this envelope is absolutely astonishing because <laughs> Coupons came and stole it. Two, four, six, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two. And sometimes I know that I have everything I need. I don't need anything. It gets pretty chunky in here. And those are our cash envelopes that we have to put money into. And the rest of that, guys, gets to go here. Yay! Ugh. All right. His last check didn't look like this at all. So we are going to pull out our high priority envelopes debt pay down. We are on a debt-free journey. We are paying down huge chunks of our debt. Um, when I get paid, it is automatically transferred from my account to that to my student loan. Let's be real here, guys. On the other hand, I take a little bit, and I'm taking $20 this time, a little bit from my honey's check, and I put it in here until basically the end of the month. And then I pull it out and I put it towards our debt. Emergencies going to get five. One, two, three, four, five. We do have our $1,000 emergency savings set aside, but I also have a oh crap right now emergency. And this is for those things that aren't really emergencies, but still need money. So there's 58 in here. We'll add two more to bring it up to 60. And it just helps to those things that we weren't expecting. Um, we needed to send some flowers for a funeral the other day, and it was nice to just be able to come here because that's an unexpected ex expense. And it was an emergency, but it was something we had to do. So it was really nice to be able to know I had that money from somewhere. Oh, let's go put the other three away. We are also doing the nickel challenge in which we are trying to save about $4,000. So this other three, and it is an emergency fund, is the purpose of it. So we will put this other three here. It is in no rush to get fully funded in any speed of time. Birthdays. I do birthdays out of my check, not out of my honey's check at all, but it does get money every month. Medical mostly comes out of my check, not my honey's check. Savings. Now this savings envelope is an envelope that is about my honey. This gives us a little bit of savings cash in the house that we can spend if we need it. 
I'm gonna add another 20, which gives me 120 in here. Gonna be real, guys, this says, Brosa, you need to go to the bank and drop that back in the bank and start building it up again. I try when it gets to 100, it just heads back to the bank. All right, earn some money for us. And then tag renewal is the last of the high priorities, but again, this comes out of my paycheck, not out of my honey's paycheck. We will finish savings challenges in a minute. The last of my high priorities come out of my child's binder. All right, we used to have an RV. That RV we have since sold. Because of that, I put some of that money into our money market and I put some of that money into my child's first car. So today we're gonna add $50 to my child's first car. He is 15, will be 16 later this year. Does not currently have a driver's license, so we are not in a hurry to, uh, sweet, we are not in a hurry to build this up as fast as we possibly can, just because, well, we don't need it right now. Um, but we are still trying to grow this a little at a time. So this 500 is in a CD. This 500 is in a money market account, so that's 1,000. 10, 20, 30, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 49, 50, that's 500, 50. So that equals 5,000 or 1,550. We need to move some 20s and things around. All right, so let's reorganize everybody there. That gives me my $1,550. Yeah, yeah. All right. The high priority in this envelope usually is the lunch account, and that comes out of my paycheck, not out of my honey's paycheck. But then I take $5 and I try to put it into something else. And we are going to put it into orienteering today. Um, basically, orienteering is a fancy way to say land nav, guys. He does ROTC. I would like to have $40 in here for when he does things. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I spend it because he needed something. Right now, we are up to 10 whole whopping dollars. Yay! <laughs> Not a lot, but it's more than what I had before. All right, and then his senior year is also going to get $5. One, two, three, four, five. Although we are trying to get out of debt, life still happens. Because life still happens, we need to make sure that we are planning accordingly. And zero-based budgeting is helping us plan accordingly to make sure that we have money to cover those things that we need. So snap you shut, put you very much to the side. And those are all of our high priorities. Now, our savings challenges, we have two that I do look at as high priorities. Nickel challenge is not it. Home improvement is not it. But our yearly challenge, I do kind of look at as a high priority. And the reason I look at this as a high priority is because this is about saving for Christmas. We are doing save 2024 and 2024. The majority of that, the intent is to pay for Christmas. The rest of it will go towards debt pay down once we have totally finished paying for Christmas. So it has a purpose and a goal. And it is something that I know is coming up. So I have to make sure I set money to the side for it. We also, another high priority for us is holiday, and that's the next upcoming holiday for us. Um, we have Easter fully funded, and we are now in the process of saving for 4th of July. And then I have a one month ahead, one, two, three, four, five, in which I will put $5 into here. And that just is slowly but surely trying to get roughly $5,000 ahead. And then I used to do a one, uh, the 52 week $1 challenge. We're not doing that this year, but I do keep the card in here so that when I do do that challenge again, I already have it. And look at that guys, chunky, 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 tells me that we are pretty close to doing another savings challenge day. Yay, love me a savings challenge day. And let me come mark that off. I need to move some money. We do investing as well. I have $25 in the budget, which is still in the bank that needs to get put into our brokerage so that we can purchase some additional stocks. All right, let's move everybody forward one because, well, that's which is what I want. All right. So remember this $11 that's been sitting over there. I promise I didn't forget it. This is extra gas money. A while back, I saw another budgeter take any extra gas money and put it in her car maintenance. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. It's a way to help build my car maintenance fund without me having to actually budget for it. But it's also, it, guys, I'm working on a $1,000 deductible by doing this. I'm starting to 
part of this isn't just for car maintenance. When it reaches a thousand dollars, guys, I'm gonna take that money. It's gonna be set to the side specifically for my deductible, and then I'll start my car maintenance back at zero again. It'll be okay temporarily to be back at zero again, but it'll just be really nice to know. Oh, not ten, eleven. It'd be really nice to know that we have that money already ready to go. All right, let me find where my 10 goes. All right, so there should be 393 in here. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 300. So I'm looking for 93, two, four, six, seven, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 99, 192, 93 dollars. Now I know that I'll probably be pulling about $100 out of here real soon. My car needs an oil change. But it's just nice to really know that when something happens and we need maintenance on one of the vehicles, we've got it. All right, so I don't need to mark anything off because that wasn't on the to-do list. Clothing is going to get a $5 bill. Plus five. Brings me up to $25 in here. 10, 15, 20, 25. We don't need any clothing just yet, but it'll be nice to know that I have it when we need it. One of those times when I'm not paying something back. Yay! Family time, um, I think I said earlier, we're getting ready to go out of town. So it'll be really nice to know that I have an extra uh, $5 that I can pull out of here, 38, and have money when we're out of town. We don't typically need much when we go, um, but just in case we do. So 38, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. All right. Fireproof safe. We got one a while back, a little one. Um, not currently saving. I would personally love a big stand-up one. Um, my husband's not, it, it depends on what day you ask him, um, but I'm not really putting any money towards this one right now. Furniture is kind of on hold right now. Um, other things are taking priority over saving for furniture. No money for garden today. Gifts is going to get a $5 bill. Um, plus a five dollar bill, which will bring us up to 18. This is for people outside of the house. Um, most of the time we're looking at, like recently, um, actually for Christmas, it was really nice to pull gifts for a boss's gift. Um, but typically this is usually, typically, usually, let's repeat the same word multiple times. Sorry about that. This is usually for like when my child was invited to a birthday party or something, it's nice to be able to pull this money out of here. So 10, 15, sorry, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I knew what I wanted the total to be, so I made it add the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Home repair is not a priority right now. Land, my honey bunny would love to get some ink land in East Tennessee. Um, so we are saving a little at a time. Uh, this might actually end up paying debt pay down and then um, building up a lot faster. I haven't quite decided yet, but we have 660 in here. So 50, 60, 62, 64, 65, 650, 655, 660. All right, land you go. Miscellaneous, you would think with all of the envelopes I have in here that I would not need a miscellaneous. Guys, I still need a miscellaneous because there are still things I go to the store and get that are not part of the budget. Um, we're gonna add five, which will bring us up to $10 in here. All right, new vehicle from Mahoney. We would really like to get him a newer truck than what he has, but still trying to get out of debt save a little bit for a new vehicle for him and not break any budget. So a little at a time brings us up to 695. 50, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 69, 695. And then Office supplies is getting nothing. I have an addiction to pins, which um, I can only curb if I don't have spending money. And then vacation gas, we're gonna add oh, $5. This really is for when we go out in my husband's truck to 53. Um, this is for when we go out in my honey's truck um, as a family to go somewhere because his truck is a gas guzzler. So 253, 10, 20, 22, 24, 
255, 250, 51, 52, 253. All right. And then we're not doing video equipment and we are not doing back to school. You're like, but Rosa, you still have cash over there. I know I do. So let me come mark. Oh, I closed my pen. Silly me. Let me come mark those two off. So I work from home. My honey does not. Um, he... He um, has to leave in order to go to work. He stops and he needs like cigarettes or a snack or a drink or something while he is out at work. So we take $200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And we break it up into two week periods, a week of 100 and another week of 100 that we are able to easily divvy up when he needs and just, hey, can I get another 20 bucks? Here's your another $20. So just trying to be mindful when he has to work that he's got spending money for that. So that just set it to the side in those envelopes for him and pull them out as they need them. And guys, that is $980 and my honey's check. If you have any questions, please drop it in chat below. You just want to say, hey, I'd love to say hey back. And I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.